Welcome to our lecture online. Our first example dealing with depreciation is the following problem. A printing press cost $55,000 when you purchase it new. The depreciation is $5,000 per year. How long can you keep that printing press if you want to sell it when the salvage value has dropped to $20,000? So let's try to graph it first. And it's always a good idea to try to graph it because that gives you a visual of what's happening in the problem. The vertical axis is the value, the horizontal axis is time. So this becomes the independent variable, this will be the dependent variable. So when you purchase it, time will be zero, the purchase price will be $55,000, and that's the value. So notice that the vertical axis is in thousands of dollars, K stands for thousands of dollars, so $55,000 is the purchase price. And then it depreciates, and eventually when you want to sell it, Right here, the remaining value, which is also called the salvage value, is now going to be 20,000. And so you can see there's going to be a depreciation, a decrease in the value. And the slope here, the slope is what we call the depreciation. So the slope indicates how fast it depreciates. Slope is the same as the depreciation. The steeper the slope, the faster it depreciates. The less steep the slope, the less fast it depreciates. So now let's compare that to the equation y equals mx plus b. So normally we have y equals mx plus b, but notice instead of y, we're going to have values. So we use the, the letter v for value, and here instead of time, we're going to use the letter t. So instead of y, we're going to have v equals the slope m, and then the independent variable is t plus b. Now we need to decide what b and m represent. Now m of course is a slope and the slope represents a depreciation. So this here is a depreciation. And notice that since we have a negative slope, the depreciation is in terms of negative dollars. It loses $5,000 per year in value, so that's why we have a negative slope. Depreciation is a negative quantity, it's a negative slope. B is where it crosses the vertical axis. So that's the initial value. B is simply represents the initial value or the purchase price. Now, what we can do here is we can define the slope. So we can say that the slope M, which is equal to the slope, which is equal to the rise over the run. And of course, the rise is going to be negative rise, and it's going to be the lost value per year, so value lost per year, value lost per year, which is going to be a negative quantity, year divided by the time. Okay. Now also what I want to do is say, okay, I want to know how much time has elapsed when the value has dropped to 20. So when the new value is 20, what will be the time? So what I can do is I can take this equation right here and solve it for t. So let's rewrite the equation. And we can say that the value is equal to the slope times t plus b. And let me solve that equation for t. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the b to the other side. So v minus b is equal to m times t. And then I'm going to turn the equation around. m times t is equal to v minus b. And finally, Finally, I'm going to divide both sides by m. So t is equal to v minus b divided by t, uh, divided by m, sorry, m, which is the slope. So t is what I'm looking for. v is the value that I have right here. So when I sell the, the object, and b is the original, its original price. So the selling value will be 20,000. In this case, I'm just going to write 20 because I'm using K dollars, thousands of dollars, minus B. B is what I paid for it initially. That would be minus 55. And notice that will be the depreciation. That's how much value I have lost. It's going to be a negative number because I'm losing value. And then I'm dividing that by the slope. And remember, the slope was negative 5 thousand dollars or 5k dollars so negative 5 and that will give me the number of years before the value is dropped 
to $20,000. So 20 minus 55 is minus 35, divided by minus 5, and so it would be 7. And of course, that would be in terms of years. So that means I can keep my machine for 7 years, by then the value will have dropped to $20,000, then I want to liquidate or sell, get the salvage value of $20,000, and then I can then maybe invest into a new machine. And so that is how we calculate, in this case, the amount of time it will take for the value of the machine to go from $55,000 to $20,000. And that is how it's done. Let's see what the next problem is. Mm -hmm. 